Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to Cardi Made It. So today I'm just going to do a really quick tutorial on how to add a HTV design onto the back of the t-shirt. So this is a birthday shirt that I'm doing and here's the front. It says Fabulous Since 1981 and then the back says Chapter 39 and it also has a red lip on it as well. All right, so here we are at the heat press. And the very first thing that I do when I make a two-sided design is I put some parchment paper down first. Some people use Teflon sheets and some people might use like a t-shirt or a pillowcase or something to protect um, their designs. But I use parchment paper. It's cheap and you get plenty of it. So. That's something that I like to do. So I put it down. And then here's my shirt. And I laid it face down. Then I just make sure it's centered to the best of my abilities. Sometimes I even use a ruler. I have to get a color ruler because clear one's not working that well. Mm. So when I feel like it's centered as close as possible, I press it just to get the wrinkles out, any moisture out or anything. I press it for eh, five seconds or more. It's up to you. And a big question is, well, how far down do you place your design? If we zoom on in there, you can see right here where the collar is. I place my design right underneath this collar part. So after you press down on your um, shirt, you'll see the collar imprint from the front. And I place my design right underneath. Sometimes I press it twice. Just depends on what you want to do. And then I place this down. And then my next step is to center this design as well. Because we want everything nice and centered. And straight. A lot of times I do eyeball things, and a lot of times they, it's my eyes play tricks on me. It could be like so insignificantly, it's, it could be so insignificantly crooked to the point where if I move it, it's going to be crooked on the other side. So, you know, don't beat yourself up about it. I have to make sure this is centered. So that's. Yeah, bring it over a smidge, a hair, a touch, and then now that is a little more in place, like this, three and a quarter. Okay, I think this, once you decide, hey, this is a good place. Kind of smooth it down. Looks good, y'all. 
It was good. It was good to me. All right. So after you decide, hey, I like the placement and everything, you get another sheet of parchment paper, Teflon, pillowcase, whatever you got, whatever you use, you place it down on top. And then you press it. I have my heat press on 320 degrees Fahrenheit. 15 seconds. All right, it's done. Pull it up. I take this transfer part off. Smooth it out. Do what you want with this. You can use it to transfer other um, types of vinyl. But most of the time, I just throw mine away. So after I press it once, I put the parchment paper back on and I press down, but I don't clamp it. I just press it down. I don't have a real set time to do that. I just, you know, do it till I want to stop. Sometimes it's five, sometimes it's eight seconds. It just all depends. Then I decide where I want this. This isn't this isn't part of the tutorial. This is just part of the shirt that I'm making. You gotta finish it. So might as well finish it on video. I use my design space for a reference whenever I, whenever I do make something. I keep my my laptop pretty close by for a reference. Just because I wanna get my design as close as possible as I have it on design space because I have in fact sent like a mock-up to my customer at this point and so you know you want things to look pretty close now when i this isn't part of the tutorial but this is just a little extra when i do like a color on top of another color layering so have you i'll i won't clamp it i press it just to get it off eight seconds or so um and then you slowly peel because sometimes it doesn't come off the transfer part but um do that and then after i know that it's on there i put my parchment paper back on and then i extra tamp it And it's already been heated up so and this is and that was how i do htv designs on the back i always take your parchment paper off the heat and press because it will heat it up and make it roll and that's annoying because i prefer my sheets straight and yeah this is what we have don't mind all the other wrinkles <laughs> 